Concussions are now the most prominent injury in contact sports. The American College of Sports Medicine estimates there are 3.8 million concussions a year for athletes from high school to professional levels, and 85% of them go undetected. Scott and White Hospital in Round Rock has the first comprehensive concussion care facility in Central Texas, where a series of brain tests and physical therapy help athletes return to action quickly and safely. And now a high school football team in Austin has taken an extra for a step to prevent head injuries. Players at Regents Private School are some of the first in Texas to wear what are called guardian caps. That's the name for a padded layer of protection that fits over their helmets. KXAN's Brian Sanders has more on what could spark a growing trend. The Regents Knights have a new line of defense against concussions. Starting this season and only during practice, they're wearing guardian caps, a cushioned cover over their helmets. There's little snaps on each side. I think there's four total. You just wrap them around the top of the face mask and flip them. Regents has over 100 football players that will be wearing the guardian caps. They cost about $60 a piece and only weigh a few ounces, but players say they took some getting used to. The first review was uh, in the form of a question, and it was, Coach, have you seen these? things I agreed with them it's like that yeah you do look crazy it's very awkward looking and weird but I think it just gives you a little bit more cushion with that hit concussions are notoriously hard to detect JD McBee suffered one last year I didn't black out I stayed in for about five minutes and then uh, I started getting specs in my vision and I told my trainer she pulled me out and then I don't really remember the rest of the game. The Guardian cap could be a game changer. Creating concussion awareness also encourages better coaching. If a kid's scrumming up, you know, in the trenches with O-line, D-line, and they go helmet to helmet, it's going to help them a little bit. Uh, we don't have the Guardian cap on to free us up to go now hit somebody incorrectly, and that's where better teaching comes in. Meantime, public schools, with their own set of strict guidelines regarding head injuries, are waiting to see if the new equipment is worth the investment. If it proves to be the best for students, our schools, our public schools, will jump out and provide that for their students. I just know that they will. They always have. And if they have to get Booster Club money to do it or, or some corporate sponsor to step in, uh, we're going to provide the best equipment for our students. A fashion statement that only football can create. Brian Sanders, KXAN News.